skinny enough to sit on Porter, show Silver all the way around. I married her. She, she went plumb to sue it. I swear she could get fat biting her fingernails. Hey, Charlie. Threw himself a dent in the back of his head. More than a while ago, from the looks of him. Wonder if his horse told him. Hey, Charlie. Same as the other one. Ain't likely they both got horse towed. Looky, I'll tell you what. I'll stay here with him. And I want you to ride into Stockton and tell the sheriff the whole story. All right? Uh huh. All right. Yeah. You sure you know what to tell him? Sure. What? I saw your foreman down by the corral. The Barclays didn't buy much at the auction. Well, they were going to buy 50 head of Hereford, but all but four were substandard. Sure, I thought Nick was dead set against Hereford. Jared and I talked him into it. Mr. Glenn, heat now is past noon. We ought to be moving out. Well, there's your hang up. Oh, roll up, roll up. Big ten. Big... Ah. Is it winning? Mm hmm. Well, I could be two more days. Old Nick ain't going to quit the game till he's got all the money or none of it. Days, you like ham sandwiches? Yeah, yeah, I like ham. It's all yours. I'll see Ooh. if I can prime loose. Be good to me. Time to head for home, Nick. Home is where the heart is. Home is also where they expected us with some white faced cattle. Mm -hmm. The valley's been without those pot belly shorthorns for over a million years. Another day or two shouldn't make any difference. Ha ha! Seven! And the money comes to smiling Nick Barkley. <laughs> Come on, Nick, shake loose. You're all fired trail eager because you're all cleaned out, that's all. Well, it was. Yeah, I am. Well, our foreman, Mr. Dace Edwards, is older than two times ten and a half, and his pants come clear down to his ankles. If he can't roll out those pot bellies by himself, then we're really in trouble. We'll see you back at the range. Oh, no, no, you're gonna leave me out on that trail with no one to argue with but myself, and you know it. So stick around. Well, what for? This is for. Come on, now, a little late. Hey, here Come on, 200 more. Let's go. Oh, 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 look at all that money. Trail expenses. You move mine, we'll catch up to you later, eh? Yeah, I'll see you in a couple of days. Oh, uh, days. My uh, San Francisco tobacconist makes these up especially for me, 50 cents a piece. Smoke them real slow, will you? Yeah, thanks. Well, uh, I'll spend a night at Bleak House, Newman's Crossing. See you there, huh? Yeah, at Bleak House. 
Have a nice trip. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Seven ah, devils. Ha, ha, ha. All right, new shooter, gentlemen. New shooter coming out. And he's coming out for $800. Am I cover? I'm just... Ten dollars with the shooter. Ten dollars. All right, guys, come on. Eleven! Clean living triumphs again. Vacancies? How many of you is there? There's five of us. Well, 50 cents ahead includes a hot supper and a hot breakfast. Oh, Come well, on. Four of us are cows. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Are some things all right? What do you mean? The belly swollen up like it got the vapors. And my short legs like you didn't find a salt leg. Mm. Horns linger thumb. Those are Herford cows. They're worth $100 a piece. And anywhere the hundred dollars can look any way he wants to. The first crew that I ever seen worth a hundred dollars was wearing spurs. A mm, hundred dollars. That's right, hundred dollars. What you gonna do with them? Well, I'm gonna interbreed some fat on some of them stringy mossy horns. That's what I'm gonna do. You more like come out with bacon and beef. Yeah, well, right now I'd settle for a bowl of beans. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that'll be fifty cents for you and a dime each for your horse and cattle. That comes to a uh, dollar even. And I'll house them, oat them, and curry them. Ah, uh, got nothing smaller than 20. Read nine. Well, that's all right. You going down to the house. My daddy has some change. And then my sister is up you. And you can wash up in the trough right over there. OK. Glad to have you. Do you always have to use that hammer? I swear, after the way your brother and I slaved to get you all that schooling, you don't read nothing except in fairy tales. You're always thinking that you're a Cinderella princess. Anything wrong with dreaming? No. You just keep a good, tight grip on that dream. One of these days, it'll all come true. You get enough money and build that hotel up on the North Rise. A big, sparkling white one. A real showcase. Kings and emperors will come from halfway around the world to enjoy our hospitality. I'll get me a, a solid silver nutcracker with handles. Why don't you fetch me a little taste of whiskey like a good girl? I have to wait. We've got a guest. Howdy. Howdy, ma'am. Well, howdy, cowboy. Here, let me take your gear. You've been swallowing a lot of trail dust, have you? Well, I chewed enough sand to make my teeth get short. Hey, well, <laughs> sit down, sit down. I got something for you to make your teeth grow a foot and a half. Bill, pour the man a drink. Only charge you a dime. Less than you want the 20 cent kind. That's been aged about an hour longer. Well, I always go first class now. You take it out of this 20. Um, so it's the smallest I got, and take a dollar out for my accommodations. Yeah, well, I reckon we can find change for this around here somewhere. Where are you from, Mr. Um... Edwards, Dace Edwards. Originally from Cincinnati. Coming out west to make your fortune? Yeah, and a little idea of mine. I got them uh, four heifer cows out there, and I'm going to start a new breed. Yeah, I saw you right in. Those are eastern-looking cattle, all right. Hundred dollars a head. You must have done pretty well back east to save up four hundred dollars. Oh, 
Just a drop in the bucket. Here you go, cowboy. Thank you there. <laughs> Bell, you take good care of our friend. I've got some work to do out back. Okay, Pa. Oh, you care for a refill? Yeah. Never did like to eat much on empty stomach. <laughs> Pardon me for saying this, ma'am, but I've been to one circuits, two carnivals, and eight county fairs. Now, you're the prettiest girl I ever saw. I bet you said that before. Oh, never once. So help me. Well, I'm just a simple country girl. You're liable to turn my head. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't do that. Oh, here, let me. Oh, I love the smell of cigar smoke. It's got a man smell to it. <laughs> well, I get these made up special in San Francisco. Oh. Virginia tobacco is fine, but I like my little heavy on the Cuban. <laughs> <laughs> you know something? I never knew a man who was really comfortable with his boots on. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I've had them on for four days now. They're kind of stuck. They're kind of... Growed on like. Well, here, you just let me help you with them. Oh, you take your other foot and push. Well, ma'am, I, I just can't do this, no righteousness. I just can't. Just lean back and push. Oh, ma'am. Well, I've known about this place before I'd have been here a long time. <laughs> Dead. How much did we get? Four hundred dollars worth of cattle, if he was telling the truth. Bart, you better drive him up the West Wash until we can find a buyer. I figured he was worth getting. Thought the cows what we get. Eighteen dollars and eighty cents in cash. All he had on him was that twenty. Sure he did well back east. Four hundred dollars, a drop in the bucket, he said. We got eighteen dollars and eighty cents. Plus what we're going to get for his gear and cattle. Now, that ain't bad for a half hour's work. But he fooled us. Someday I'm going to meet a man with so much money, he doesn't have to lie. Yeah, don't fret so. Bart, see if you can load him into the wagon, and I'll drop him in the river. Bell, you clean the blood off on the floor. Oh, now, princess. We get enough to build our hotel on the North Rise, you're going to be up to your neck in rich men. The day always seems to be getting further and further away. Well, your biggest problem is the way you roll the dice. You use that wrist clip. It's no good. You don't get any control. You've got to push them out with the heel of your hand and say, come on, dice. And I've been in certain parts of the country where they call that a carpet slide and they shoot you for it. There it goes again, that attitude. Nothing wrong with my... Your head. attitude is all wrong. You think I... You think wish. You don't think win. Now, you, when, when, when you roll, you got to talk to those dice. How do you expect them to do what you want them to do if you don't talk to them? You better rest these horses. They're not sweating. Well, I am. I never once heard you say, come on, dice. Make it, and I'll get you some new spots. Nick, them squares are made out of ivory. They can't hear a word you say. All right, and how come I'm a $3,100 winner? You cheat. Ah, uh, I play the winning streak. Play the winning streak. You can't win, you can't win. You can't lose, you can't lose. You look over there. Look, look, look over there. See that little rabbit? You see him? You see him? Yeah, I see him. Well, now, I'll bet you $10 when I holler, he's going to spook to the right. Huh? Huh? No, no bet. <laughs> there, see that? Now, when was the last time you saved $10 so easy? Well, it must have been 15 or 20 minutes ago, when I didn't take that bet on whether them stupid birds' nests had pink eggs or blue eggs. You want to camp here? I got some hooks. We'll see how lucky you are with these traps. Oh, no, 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 I can afford a hot meal. Oh, by the way, uh, where was that place old Dace was going to meet us yesterday? Bleak House, up on Newman's Crossing. Oh, now, why can't we stay there the night? Get up, have a fresh start. Well, we're only six hours from home, Nick. We'll be in there before midnight. Tell you what, we'll flip for it. Heads we go to Blake House, tails we go on home. Not huh? a chance. 
but I'll bet you the food is lousy. Fifty cents it is it. Oh, <laughs> Clean that way, you're going against the grain. You gotta go with the grain this way. This way, yeah? Uh, look like somebody got hurt here. Uh, no, we just slaughtered some hogs. Hogs, huh? Well, how does a half a dozen pork chops sound to you? Sounds great to me. Oh, uh, well, we sold off all the pork, but we got beef stew for supper, and for breakfast we got bacon and beans, and sleepings in the loft, and the price, 50 cents each. But going price is only a quarter. There you go, thinking small again, he. Here, here's five. Well, uh, I, 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 I ain't got change for five dollars. Oh, that's all right. You take it. We just want the best in the house. You got it. Say, what time did our foreman leave this morning? Who? A fellow named Dace Edwards. He was driving some white-faced cows. He was supposed to stop here last night. Did he stop here? No, ain't been nobody around here for days. Uh, uh, listen, I'm going to go down to the house and uh, get my assistant to start supper for you. All right? All right. Glad to have you. What do you suppose happened to Dace? Oh, I don't know. You get those fat cows moving, you wouldn't want to stop them now, would you? I guess not. All right, let's get the horses on the saddle and get to that hot meal, huh? And one of them's got a roll of hundred dollar bills you could stuff a tall goose with. And they was asking about that feller that was here yesterday? Yes, that it was their foreman. Huh, he was just a foreman. Well, you can't trust nobody nowadays. What'd you say? Well, I told him we never see nobody fit that description. Oh, good. Uh, you figure they got 1500 maybe uh, $2,000? Oh, more than twice that. Enough to get us a real fine hotel. We go get them at supper? Yeah, not so fast. They're young, and they're wearing their guns low. Yeah, and I want to know who they are, where they come from, and where they're going. We made a mistake with that foreman. But, Daddy, all you got to do is swing that hammer just a couple of times. Now, Bell's right. There's no sense in courting a noose. Hey, they're coming. This could be the biggest one yet. Yeah, it could be the last one if you ain't careful. Now, Bell, you feel them out, and I'll be in the back room getting some shut eye with both ears open. Howdy. Come on in. Just make ourselves at home. Got the pot boiling. Pork cider to whiskey. Bill, get paid. Well, now. See what I told you? Some days you just can't lose. Howdy, ma'am. I'm Heath Barkley. I'm uh, Nick Barkley. Uh, oh, uh, uh, sit down. I'll, I'll fix you a drink. For the best in the house, please. Are, are you the Stockton Barclays? Yes, ma'am. I hope you gentlemen are hungry. You like beef stew? You make it, I'll guarantee it. I, uh, I'll set the table. Let me help you. Your move, Mr. Barclay. Nick. It's your move, Nick. It wasn't a very good move. <laughs> Make it hard for a fellow to concentrate. It's uh, getting late. You must be tired, Mr. Barclay. Nick. Oh, Nick. We don't get people like you by here very often. Well, no, I don't see why not. It's a very cozy place. Cozy? <laughs> well, I guess it's better than sleeping in a cell. But that's about all you can say for it. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. Well, I've seen your house. 
Yeah? When? When I've been to Stockton. I sit up there on that South 40. Guess I spend a lot of hours looking at it. The big white pillars. We're gonna have a house like that someday. All white and sparkling like a palace. Well, when you uh, come by, be sure to come visit. I'll, uh, well, I won't be able to make up a stool like yours without sure make up something. Well, I don't get to Stockton very often. Do you get by here very much? No, no, no. Not, not ordinarily. This may prove to be my favorite route to Fresno. I hope so. Oh, it is late. You said you were going to leave before sunup? I don't need any sleep. I do. Next time. It might be sooner you think. feeling he just might be coming back. I hope so. Daddy, you let him get away. Those are Stockton Barclays, boy. Too rich, too many friends, too many folks expecting him back. But all that money. We tempted fate when we killed their foreman. Besides, that black-haired one, he, uh, he sparked a bell. They all do. We might build this into something permanent. A Barkley man that likes a bell? You be quiet. Sure, princess. Sure. I just get a feeling that solid silver nutcracker is getting closer and closer. Hold up, hold up. What's the matter? Well, I just, uh, just remembered I left that rifle of mine back at the bleak house in the barn. I think we're over halfway home. You have to shoot anybody, you can use mine. Oh, no, no, no. You, you go on. I, I best go back. Boy, howdy. A $3,100 winner wearing about a $20 gun. Well, I happen to like that gun, and it may get rusty. A horse may step on it and break the stock. All right, I'll ride back with you. You'll need somebody to argue with. Oh, no, no, no. You go on. The family, they may be worried. Well, I'm sure Dace has got back and uh, told them about that crap game. Besides, you might need some help. With that girl. You get out of here. <laughs> I saw him with my own eyes. Jared, that's terrible. Well, the prodigal returns. I live and got me down. Now, what's so terrible? They found three more bodies in the North Jetty. Three more? That makes nine in the past two months. Any identification? Not unless you want to count their skulls being crushed in like all the others. We were beginning to worry about you. You were supposed to be here yesterday. Well, didn't Dace tell you we'd be late? Dace? We sent him ahead with the Hereford. Well, he isn't here. They should have got here yesterday. Maybe you and Nick better double back, see if he's in any trouble. Well, Nick isn't with me. What do you mean? Well, he left his rifle at the place we stayed at last night and rode back to get it. Oh, well, then he'll be here in a few hours. Well, not exactly. Uh, you see, he left a girl there also. Oh? Not anything to worry about, though, because Nick's riding a winning streak. But if Dace doesn't show up in a couple hours, I'll ride back and check on him. Good. What's for lunch? <laughs>
I told you I'd be back sooner than you thought. Oh, I didn't expect you back so soon. Well, I forgot my rifle. It's been a man who sits a horse the way you do couldn't ride five feet without noticing an empty rifle boot. Well, as a matter of fact, I was just about all the way home, and I remembered I'd stuck it under some hay in the corner of the barn here. Oh. <laughs> Many hands make light work. Here, I'll get that. Thank you. Right. Well, aren't you afraid you'll disappoint a lot of... Beautiful, rich young ladies up in Stockton? Well, if there are many, that many beautiful young ladies up in Stockton, I wouldn't have to take my rifle out of the boot in the first place. Besides, none of them are as pretty as you. Oh, Mr. Barkley! Bar Mr. Barkley's here! Look, why don't you come on over here and sit down and make yeah. yourself comfortable? Pa, well, Mr. Barkley forgot his rifle. Why don't you That's get him right, some I... coffee? Hey, you're going to be staying the night, Mr. Barkley. Well, there's big doings in town tonight. There's oh. a barn dance. Bill, you tell him about the barn dance. Uh, there's a barn dance. Oh. Well, I... Would you do me the honor of your company? You can wear your flowered dress. Have you had lunch? No, Bill, I... Bill, why don't you fix a picnic basket? It's kind of warm around here, and it's nice and cool in that grove down by the river. Ain't nothing too good for our starboard of Mr. Barkley. Think of those herfers. He finally changed his mind. It took some convincing. <laughs> well, they'll grow on him. Audra, what are you doing? You put any more sugar in that tea, you're gonna have to chew it. Well, nine men have been murdered. Aren't you too worried? Yes, we are. I'll get it. Oh, Sheriff, come in. Come in. Good afternoon, Victoria. You're just in time for coffee. Thanks, Victoria. But hello, hello, everybody. Red. I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you. We found another body. It was your foreman, Dace Edwards. Oh, no. Dace? Where? The river, North Jetty, same place as all the others. Heath, how much of a head start did he have on you? About 12 hours. We were supposed to catch up to him at Bleak House, but he never showed up there. How do you know that? Well, we checked there last night. They hadn't seen him. I'm going to wire the lawmen upstream and form a posse. We'll ride with you, Sheriff. Let's go. All right. What kind of a person would do a thing like that? Like it? Love it. I mean the picnic lunch. That too. I was talking about your face. Are you trying to memorize me? Mm-hmm. From chin to hairline. I just... Well, I just can't get enough of looking at you, so... Why? Oh, I don't know. I think maybe I'm trying to find something wrong with you. Very difficult. Don't you found something? Mm -hmm. Those blue, blue eyes. But a man could drown in those blue eyes. I never thought anyone would notice. <laughs> well, you have a defect, too. I do. Where? Your forehead. Your hair keeps falling down on it. You are somebody to me, Belle. Somebody very special. Don't talk that way. And don't feel that way. Let's just the power of a woman. Uh-huh. Well, I still think we should have banged him over here during supper. Son, a chicken would make you one meal. Or it could lay enough eggs for a thousand breakfasts. A sheep, it would be two weeks of mutton. Or you could wear warm shirts for the rest of your life. And a cow, and it'd be about five weeks of meat. Or you could have milk and heifers from now on. Now, what would you want? Uh, would you like chicken, meat, and mutton just for a short time? Or would you rather have eggs and clothes and milk and meat from now to eternity? I don't understand all that. 
Should have sent you to school along with your sister. Well, don't you worry. Your pa will take care of you. Well, they're coming back. Been gone just about the right amount of time. Bail? How did it go? It was just wonderful, Pa. You still got that money on him? Barry. Well, Daddy, she's got a funny look too I never seen before. Well, it ain't the kind of look you're ever like to understand. Well, would you mind waiting outside? I, I want to take a bath. Well, don't throw the water out when you're finished. Bart's going to use it. Daddy, do I have to? I'd appreciate it. It looks like it's working out. Well, if Bill marries him, who's going to do for us? Oh, we can hire anybody we want. Uh-huh. She'll move in that big house and grow uppity ways and have us fetching and toting. Oh, no. We got a saddle on your sister, boy. Not if she marries money, we don't. Wouldn't the Barclays be flat out shocked to learn they got an in-law who's done the things that Bell's done? We're gonna be rich, Daddy. Like having a tunnel to the bank, son. Like having a tunnel to the bank. <laughs> Hmm? Who? First girl you're ever in love with. Oh, that one. She was a most unusual girl. She like me? No, oh, very different from you. Very different. Sure. Mm hmm Yeah. A darker complexion, a little shorter, a little skinnier. But then again, so are all Paiute Indian girls at the age of 11. <laughs> Oh, now you're making fun of me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pry. Oh, I just suddenly feel I, I need to know everything about you. Do you have a middle name? Mm-hmm. Nicholas Jonathan Barkley, ma'am, at your service. Well, what about you? Where are you from? Your father and brother sound like they're all up around Missouri, Kansas way. In Missouri. Mm-hmm. What about some Missouri? Oh, it's a place you never would have heard of. What's your I mean? Clay County. Clay County, Missouri. Seems I ever heard something about that. Oh, no. <laughs> Just a little place, nothing ever happened there. Uh, well, I, I don't know about that. You were born there, weren't you? All right, enough about your past. Do you have any idea about your future? Hmm? Tell me. <laughs> Tonight, right after that barn dance, we'll wear all alone. Do you know what I'm going to do? No. I'm going to buy us two steaks about an inch thick. Two bottles of wine, best restaurant in town. <laughs> so you're holding the barn dance tonight? I was. Been called off, and I spent eight dollars in advertising. Oh, why'd you have to cancel? Yeah, most of the men rode out of town on posse. Who are they looking for? Somebody around here has been killing folks and throwing them in the river. A bunch of bodies wound up in Joaquin County. You might as well go home then. Eight. Ten people knocked in the head. Maybe more. We can still get home before dark. Ain't nobody actually said lynch you. But they sure been fingering their ropes. Take me home, Nick. Still stay and have a little dinner. Please. There are people around here doing things like that. I want to get back and warn Daddy and Bart. Well, all right. Get on. we found the bodies, and this is where we'll split up. Check every house upstream, both sides of the river. Penn, Baines, take the Laughlin place. The old man and his wife are over 70, but check it out anyway. DeColvin, Herm, take the Stearns place, also look in on the Hubbles. Next up would be Bleak House. Jed, now take that one. 
That covers 20 miles. By that time, we ought to be meeting up with the Lathrop Posse. All right, let's move out. Why the Bleak House? That's where Nick's supposed to be. I don't see any reason why he shouldn't be riding Posse with us. Seems to me you mentioned something about a girl. Yep. Can't you see the color of his face when we tell him his romance is just gonna have to wait? <laughs> Should be something approaching deep vermilion. More likely to be purple. You know, I think Nick's winning streak's about to come to an end. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks for understanding, Nick. I'll take the buckboard to the barn and unharness. Wake up and listen to me. Get up. Now listen to me. We gotta get away from here. There's a posse and they're talking lynch. Those bodies we threw in the river didn't stay underwater. They found a whole lot of them. How are they gonna trace them to us? When they can't trace them any further upstream than this, they're gonna start poking around here. There's nothing to tie us in. It's bound and arrowed down to us, Bart. Now, do you want to take that chance? Where's it, Barkley, fella? Out in the barn and harnessing. What's he going to think if he sees us riding out like this? A man hitting the head with a hammer don't think nothing. With that money of his, we can buy us a whole lot of distance. Nothing happens to him. Oh, Pa, don't you understand? But for a few hours, I had everything I ever dreamed of. Right here in my hands. And my hands were clean. And it wasn't all yesterday's. It was tomorrow's. Well, well. Oh, Paul, why does everything we touch turn to mud? He was a nice young fella. If we move on, there's going to be other ones. Not like this one. So what are we supposed to do about him? He's a loss. We tap him on the head, and we send him downstream. No! Downstream. Downstream. You've got an idea. Found all the bodies downstream. What if they was to find one with its head bashed in upstream? Why, well, sure take the curse off of us. Well, where are we going to find a body? In the barn. Unharnessing. And with a pocket full of money. I told you, Pa, no. No. Well, whatever's going between you and Nick Barkley's past working. Besides, he's got two things we need very badly right now. A body and a lot of money. Oh, Pa, please find somebody else. I can't. He fills our needs like nobody else can. And then we can stay here and build our big hotel. We ain't ever gonna have that big hotel. We won't ever have anything. Maybe, but it beats swinging from the end of a rope. You just move him into the right spot in front of the canvas, and we won't have to explain anything to anybody. We can stay here, we'll have a lot of money, and be just as pure as a morning dew. I won't do it. Listen to me. You ain't never disobeyed your daddy before, and you ain't gonna start now. You hear me? You got no choice. It's him or us. He's coming. You better listen to daddy. I brung us this far, and I'm gonna take us all away. You just tell him we rode out to join that posse. Let him in, Bell. Let him in. Everything all right? No, fine. I've been left a note. Rode out with the posse. Well, I don't see. I told you there was nothing to worry about. I'm, uh, I'm sorry I ruined our dinner, our whole evening, but, well, it's still early. I, I could fix you a cup of coffee and maybe a sandwich for cheating you out of your dinner, too. Here, let me help you. No, no, you sit down over here. I can do it. Oh. I didn't realize how tired I am. Ah. Lean back there and relax. Oh. Oh, uh, 
sure. Uh, my foreman stopped by here. He said he was going to. The foreman? Dace Edwards. Matter of fact, I gave him a couple of cigars before he left Fresno. Cigars made especially for me. Like this one. Oh, let me see. Oh, yes. It's got your name right there. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you must have left it here last night. No, no, no. I'm sure I smoked all of them before I got here. Oh, you must be very tired. Uh, why don't you let me help you off with your boots and I'll uh, show you some real Missouri hospitality. Missouri? Clay County? Yes, that does ring a bell. My brother defended a bank robber from up that way. Had a strange defense, though. He uh, said he didn't even know he had committed a crime. The only crime that was known around his parts was working for a living. He taught the children how to rob and kill rather than read and write. And all the heroes the kids had were men like Jesse James and the Youngers. I can take care of that. No! A shot might bring the posse. And they gotta find a body upstream with a mashed in head, right? So let's get a canvas back up and take him up river. Get the posse? No, it's just as bad, though. He's Barkley and some other man. Let's get him in the back. Bill, you get rid of them fellas. <laughs> Afternoon, Bell. This is my brother Jerry. Looking for Nick. Uh, I suppose he's out back. Uh, no, he isn't here. He did come back at noon to get his rifle, and then he went right back to Fresno. Well, he's a forgetful one. Sorry to bother you. Pleasure, miss. I wonder why she lied. That was Nick's horse we saw in the pasture. I don't know. Let's ride out a ways and double back, huh? is going to be with us any minute. Daddy, what are we going to do? You ever thought about dying, son? No way I can help it. Oh, Pa, it's no use. We ain't going to quit, Bill. I ain't never lost a fight yet. Gun beats hanging eight ways from Sunday. You got the guts for it, boy. I'm ready. I'm ready!
Nick. Uh, Nick, are you all right? Uh, Where are they? Huh? Take it easy. Take it easy, Nick. Where's Belle? She's in the barn. I'll get her. I'll get her. She's all right. Sit, I'll get her. It's over. I wasn't going to let him hurt you, Nick. I wasn't going to let him go through with it. Just sit back, Nick, and relax. Lean back, Nick. Don't. Sorry, Bill. You did love me, didn't you? Well, no, I'm... I'm not sorry about that. It's everything else. Well, you don't have to be. What do you mean? I didn't kill any of those people. I just talked to them. Paul and Bart is the ones that killed them. How many people, Bill? I don't know, 15, 16, I don't know. And you just stood there and let it go on, huh? They'll hang me, Nick. Unless you help me get away. Get away? Well, there's only two of them out there. Two between us and the rest of us. Those life. are my brothers. Well, you don't see me shedding any tears over my kinfolk, well, do you? Well, I don't work that way, Bill. <laughs> it's just my luck. First time you ever feel a little sunshine, and then somebody comes along and throws a bucket of rainwater in your face. If those are your brothers out there, then they'd let us get away. There's got to be some place for us somewhere. I'm afraid you'll always be carrying some dead people in your hip pocket, Bill. I wasn't... I wasn't born 22 years ago. Born this afternoon in a grove down by the river. And the doctor that delivered me said that a man could drown in my eyes. And then he kissed me. I never. I grew up around nothing but menfolk who never turned a furrow, never spent a drop of sweat. They never did nothing by the book. I ain't had to sneak away to go to school. They did nothing but old sod houses and caves. But someday we were going to have that big house. And then everything was going to be all right. Come on, Bella. Waiting for us.
It was tomorrow's. Bill. Bill. Oh, Paul, why does everything we touch turn to mud? He was a nice young fella. When we move on, there's going to be other ones. Not like this one. So what are we supposed to do about him? He's a loss. We tap him on the head and we send him downstream. No! Downstream. Downstream. You've got an idea. They found all the bodies downstream. What if they was to find one with its head bashed in upstream? Why, well, sure take the curse off an earth. But where are we going to find a body? In the barn. Unharnessing. And with a pocket full of money. I told you, Paul, no. No. Well, whatever's going between you and Nick Barkley's past working. Besides, he's got two things we need very badly right now. A body and a lot of money. Oh, Paul, please find somebody else. I can't. He fills our needs like nobody else can. And then we can stay here and build our big hotel. We ain't ever gonna have that big hotel. We won't ever have anything. Maybe. But it beats swinging from the end of a rope. You just move him into the right spot in front of the canvas. And we won't have to explain anything to anybody. We can stay here. We'll have a lot of money and be just as pure as a morning dew. I won't do it. Listen to me. You ain't never disobeyed your daddy before, and you ain't gonna start now. You hear me? You got no choice. It's him or us. He's coming. You better listen to daddy. I brung us this far, and I'm gonna take us all the way. You just tell him we rode out to join that posse. Let him in, Bell. Let him in. dinner, our whole evening, but well, it's still early. I, I could fix you a cup of coffee and maybe a sandwich for cheating you out of your dinner, too. Here, let me help you. No, no, you sit down over here. I can do it. Oh. I realize how tired I am. Ah. Your move, Mr. Barclay. Nick. It's your move, Nick. That wasn't a very good move. <laughs> Make it hard for a fellow to concentrate. It's uh, getting late. You must be tired, Mr. Barclay. Nick. Oh, Nick. We don't get people like you by here very often. Well, no, I don't see why not. It's a very cozy place. Cozy? <laughs> well, I guess it's better than sleeping in a cell. That's about all you can say for it. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. Well, I've seen your house. Yeah? When? When I've been to Stockton. I sit up there on that South 40. Guess I spend a lot of hours looking at it. Big white pillars. We're gonna have a house like that someday. All white and sparkling like a palace. Well, when you uh, come by, sure to come visit. I'll, uh, well, I won't be able to make up a stew like yours without sure make up something. Well, I don't get to Stockton very often. 
Do you get by here very much? No, no, no. Not, not ordinarily. This may prove to be my favorite route to Fresno. I hope so. It is late. You said you were going to leave before sunup. I don't need any sleep. I do. Next time. It might be sooner than you think. Stop by here. He said he was gonna. The foreman? Dace Edwards. Matter of fact, I gave him a couple of cigars before he left Fresno. Cigars made especially for me. Like this one. Oh, let me see. Oh, yes. It's got your name right there. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you must have left it here last night. No, no, no. I'm sure I smoked all of them before I got here. Oh, you must be very tired. Uh, why don't you let me help you off with your boots and I'll uh, show you some real Missouri hospitality. Missouri? Clay County? Yes, that does ring a bell. My brother defended a bank robber from up that way. Had a strange defense, though. He uh, said he didn't even know he had committed a crime. The only crime that was known around his parts was working for a living. Taught the children how to rob and kill rather than read and write. And all the heroes the kids had were men like Jesse James and the Youngers. I can take care of that. No! A shot might bring the posse. And they gotta find a body upstream with a mashed in head, right? So let's get the cameras back up and take him up river. Get the posse? No, it's just as bad, though. Heath Barkley and some other man. Let's get him in the back. Phil, you get rid of them fellas. Barkley and some other man. Let's get him in the back. Phil, you get rid of them fellas. <laughs> come back at noon to get his rifle, and then he went right back to Fresno. Well, he's a forgetful one. Sorry to bother you. Pleasure, miss. I wonder why she lied. That was Nick's horse we saw in the pasture. I don't know. Let's ride out a ways and double back, huh?
Let's go. All right, there. They come back in the barn. Jesse, Bart, come on out. We're happy where we are. So are we. The rest of that posse is going to be with us any minute. Daddy, what are we going to do? You ever thought about dying, son? No, when I can help it. Oh, Pa, it's no use. We ain't gonna quit, Bill. I ain't never lost a fight yet. Gun beats hanging eight ways from Sunday. You got the guts for it, boy. I'm ready. I'm ready! They might be worried. Well, I'm sure Dace has got back and uh, told him about that crab game. Besides, you might need some help with that girl. You get out of here. You sure? I saw him with my own eyes. Jared, that's terrible. Well, the prodigal returns. I live and got me down. Now, what's so terrible? They found three more bodies in the North Jetty. Three more? That makes nine in the past two months. Any identification? Not unless you want to count their skulls being crushed in like all the others. We were beginning to worry about you. You were supposed to be here yesterday. Well, didn't Dace tell you we'd be late? Dace? We sent him ahead with the Hereford. Well, he isn't here. Well, they should have got here yesterday. Maybe you and Nick better double back, see if he's in any trouble. Well, Nick isn't with me. What do you mean? Well, he left his rifle at the place we stayed at last night and rode back to get it. Oh, well, then he'll be here in a few hours. Well, not exactly. Uh, you see, he left a girl there also. Oh? Not anything to worry about, though, because Nick's riding a winning streak. But if Dace doesn't show up in a couple of hours, I'll ride back and check on him. Good. What's for lunch? <laughs> Sooner you thought. Oh, I didn't expect you back so soon. Well, I forgot my rifle. It's been a man who sits a horse the way you do couldn't ride five feet without noticing an empty rifle boot. Well, as a matter of fact, I was just about all the way home and I remembered I'd stuck it under some hay in the corner of the barn here. Oh. <laughs> Many hands make light work. Here, I'll get that. Thank you. Right. Well, aren't you afraid you'll disappoint a lot of Beautiful, rich young ladies up in Stockton? Well, if there are many, that many beautiful young ladies up in Stockton, I would not have to take my rifle out of the boot in the first place. Besides, none of them are as pretty as you. Oh, Mr. Barkley! Bart, Mr. Barkley's here! Look, why don't you come on over here and sit down and yeah. make yourself comfortable? Pa, oh, nice. Mr. Barkley forgot his rifle. Why don't you That's get him right, some I... coffee? Hey, you're going to be staying the night, Mr. Barkley. Well, there's I... big doings in town tonight. Oh. There's a barn dance. Bill, you tell him about the barn dance. Uh, there's a barn dance. Oh. Well, I... Would you do me the honor of your company? You can wear your flower dress. Have you had lunch? No, Bill, I... Well, why don't you fix a picnic basket? It's kind of warm around here, and it's nice and cool in that grove down by the river. Ain't nothing too good for our starboard of Mr. Barkley. I ain't got a chance for five dollars. Oh, that's all right. You take it. We just want the best in the house. But you got it. Say, what time did our foreman leave this morning? A fellow named Dace Edwards. He was driving some white-faced cows. He was supposed to stop here last night. Did he stop here? No, there ain't been nobody around here for days. Uh, listen, I'm gonna go down to the house and uh, get my assistant to start supper for you, all right? right fine. Glad to have you. What do you suppose happened to Dace? Oh, I don't know. You get those fat cows moving, you wouldn't want to stop them now, would you? Well, I guess not. All right, let's get the horses unsaddled and get to that hot meal, huh? And one of them's got a roll of hundred-dollar bills you could stuff a tall goose with. And they was asking about that feller that was here yesterday? Yes, that it was our foreman. Huh, he was just a foreman. Well, you can't trust nobody nowadays. What'd you say? Well, I told him we never seen nobody fit that description. Oh, good. 
Uh, you figure they got fifteen hundred, maybe uh, two thousand dollars? Oh, more than twice that. Enough to get us a real fine hotel. We go get them at supper? Yeah, not so fast. They're young and they're wearing their guns low. Yeah, and I want to know who they are, where they come from, and where they're going. We made a mistake with that foreman. But, Daddy, all you got to do is swing that hammer just a couple of times. Now, Bell's right. There's no sense in courting a noose. Hey, they're coming. This could be the biggest one yet. It could be the last one if you ain't careful. Now, Bell, you feel them out, and I'll be in the back room getting some shut eye with both ears open. Howdy. Come on in. Just make yourselves at home. Got the pot boiling. Pork side of the whiskey. Bill, get paid. Well, now. See what I told you? Some days you just can't lose. Howdy, ma'am. I'm Eve Barkley. I'm uh, Nick Barkley. Uh, oh, uh, uh, sit down. I'll, I'll fix you a drink. For the best in the house, please. Are, are you the Stockton Barclays? Yes, ma'am. I hope you gentlemen are hungry. You like beef stew? You make it, I'll guarantee it. I, uh, I'll set the table. Let me help you. dinner, our whole evening, but well, it's still early. I, I could fix you a cup of coffee and maybe a sandwich for cheating you out of your dinner, too. Here, let me help you. No, no, you sit down over here. I can do it. Oh. I realize how tired I am. Ah. Lean back there and relax. stopped by here. He said he was going to. Hey, foreman? Dace Edwards. Matter of fact, I gave him a couple of cigars before he left Fresno. Cigars made especially for me. Like this one. Oh, let me see. Oh, yes. It's got your name right there. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you must have left it here last night. No, no, no. I'm sure I smoked all of them before I got here. Oh, you must be very tired. Uh, why don't you let me help you off with your boots and I'll uh, show you some real Missouri hospitality. Missouri? Clay County? Yes, that does ring a bell. My brother defended a bank robber from up that way. Had a strange defense, though. He uh, said he didn't even know he had committed a crime. The only crime that was known around his parts was working for a living. Taught the children how to rob and kill rather than read and write. And all the heroes the kids had were men like Jesse James and the Youngers.
Yeah, there we go. All right, come on. 400 of you. Hey. Hey. Hi, Heath. Sit down, Glenn, before you fall down. Go on, how about a drink? I had all that I could handle last night. That, too. Hey, I saw your foreman down by the corral. The Barclays didn't buy much at the auction. Well, we were going to buy 50 head of Hereford, but all but four were substandard. Sure, I thought Mick was dead set against Hereford. Jared and I talked him into it. Mr. Glenn, Heath on his past noon, we ought to be moving out. There's your hang-up. Oh, roll up, roll up. Big ten, big ten. Is it winning? Mm-hmm. Well, I could be two more days. Old nigga ain't gonna quit the game till he's got all the money or none of it. Days, you like ham sandwiches? Yeah, yeah, I like them. It's all yours. I'll see if I can pry him loose. Be good to me. Time to head for home, Nick. Home is where the heart is. Home is also where they expected us with some white-faced cattle. Mm-hmm. The valley's been without those pot-bellied shorthorns for over a million years. Another day or two shouldn't make any difference. Ha-ha! <laughs> Seven! And the money comes to smiling Nick Clarkley. <laughs> Come on, Nick. Shake loose. You're all fire trail eager because you're all cleaned out, that's all. Well, it was. And I am. Well, our foreman, Mr. Dace Edwards, is older than two times ten and a half, and his pants come clear down to his ankles. If he can't roll out those pot-bellies by himself, then we're really in trouble. We'll see you back at the ranch. Oh, no, no, you're not going to leave me out on that trail with no one to argue with but myself, and you know it. Stick around. Well, what for? This is for. Come on, now, a little less. Hey, come on, 200 more. Let's see. Oh, 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 look at all that money. Trail expenses. You move them out, we'll catch up to you later, eh? Yeah, I'll see you in a couple of days. Oh, uh, days. My uh, San Francisco tobacconist makes these up especially for me, 50 cents a piece. Smoke them real slow, will you? Yeah, thanks. Well, uh, I'll spend a night at Bleak House, Newman's Crossing. See you there, huh? Yeah, Bleak has. Have a nice trip. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Seven oh, devils. Ha, ha, ha. All right, new shooter, gentlemen. New shooter coming out. What a shooter. And he's coming out for $800 in my cover. Come on. $10 with the shooter. $10. All right, guys, come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eleven clean living triumphs again. Think of those herfers. He finally changed his mind. It took some convincing. <laughs> well, they'll grow on him. Audra, what are you doing? You put any more sugar in that tea, you're gonna have to chew it. Well, nine men have been murdered. Aren't you too worried? Yes, we are. I'll get it. Oh, Sheriff, come in. Come in. Good afternoon, Victoria. You're just in time for coffee. Thanks, Victoria. But hello, hello everybody. Red. Red. I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you. Found another body. It was your foreman, Dace Edwards. Oh, no. Dace? Where? The river, North Jetty, same place as all the others. Heath, how much of a head start did he have on you? About 12 hours. We were supposed to catch up to him at Bleak House, but he never showed up there. How do you know that? Well, we checked there last night. They hadn't seen him. I'm going to wire the lawmen upstream and form a posse. We'll ride with you, Sheriff. Let's go. All right. What kind of a person would do a thing like that? Like it? Love it. I mean the picnic lunch. That too. I was talking about your face. Are you trying to memorize me? Mm-hmm. From chin to hairline. I just... Well, I just can't get enough of looking at you, so... Why? Oh, I don't know. I think maybe I'm trying to find something wrong with you. Very difficult. Don't you found something? Mm -hmm. Those blue, blue eyes. But a man could drown in those blue eyes. I never thought anyone would notice. <laughs> well, you have a defect, too. I do. Where? Your forehead. Your hair keeps falling down on it.
Something wrong? You kissed me like I was somebody. You are somebody to me, Belle. Somebody very special. Don't talk that way. And don't feel that way. Let's just live here now. Didn't buy much at the auction. Well, we were going to buy 50 head of Hereford, but all but four were substandard. Well, I thought Nick was dead set against Hereford. Jared and I talked him into it. Mr. Glenn, he thought it was past noon. We ought to be moving out. Well, there's your hang up. Oh, roll, roll, roll. Big ten. Big ten. Ah. Is it winning? Mm hmm. Well, I could be two more days. Old Nick ain't going to quit the game till he's got all the money or none of it. Days, you like ham sandwiches? Yeah. Yeah, I like them. All yours. I'll see if I can pry him loose. Be good to me. Time to head for home, Nick. Home is where the heart is. Home is also where they expected us with some white-faced cattle. Mm -hmm. The valley's been without those pot belly shorthorns for over a million years. Another day or two shouldn't make any difference. Ha ha! Seven! And the money comes to smiling Nick Barkley. <laughs> Come on, Nick, shake loose. You're all fire trail eager because you're all cleaned out, that's all. Well, it was. Yeah, I am. Well, our foreman, Mr. Dace Edwards, is older than two times ten and a half, and his pants come clear down to his ankles. If he can't roll out those pot bellies by himself, then we're really in trouble. Well, we'll see you back at the ranch. No, no, no. You're going to leave me out on that trail with no one to argue with but myself, and you know it. Stick around. Well, what for? This is for. Come on, now, a little less. Hey, Come on, 200 more. Let's see. Oh, 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 look at all that money. Trail expenses. You move them out, we'll catch up to you later, eh? Yeah, I'll see you in a couple of days. Oh, uh, days. My uh, San Francisco tobacconist makes these up especially for me. 50 cents a piece. Smoke them real slow, will you? Yeah, thanks. Well, uh, I'll spend a night at Bleak House, Newman's Crossing. See you there, huh? Yeah, at Bleak House. Have a nice trip. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Seven oh, devils! Ha, ha, ha! All right, new shooter, gentlemen. New shooter coming out. What a shooter. And he's coming out for $800 in my cover. I'll take it. Come on. $10 with a shooter. Ten. All right, guys, come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eleven. Clean living triumphs again. Sit down, Glenn, before you fall down. Go on, how about a drink? I had all that I can handle last night. That too. 
Hey, I saw your foreman down by the corral. The Barclays didn't buy much at the auction. Well, we were going to buy 50 head of Hereford, but all but four were substandard. Well, I thought Mick was dead set against Hereford. Jared and I talked him into it. Mr. Glenn, Heath on his past noon. We ought to be moving out. Well, there's your hang-up. Oh, roll him, roll him. Big ten. Big... Ah. Is it winning? Mm-hmm. Well, I could be two more days. Old Nick ain't gonna quit the game till he's got all the money or none of it. Days, you like ham sandwiches? Yeah, yeah, I like them. It's all yours. I'll see if I can pry him loose. Be good to me. Time to Not head for home, Nick. Home is where the heart is. Home is also where they expected us with some white-faced cattle. Mm-hmm. The valley's been without those pot belly shorthorns for over a million years. Another day or two shouldn't make any difference. Ha-ha! Seven! And the money comes to smiling Nick Barkley. <laughs> Come on, Nick, shake loose. You're all fired trail eager because you're all cleaned out, that's all. Well, it was. Yeah, I am. Well, our foreman, Mr. Dace Edwards, is older than two times ten and a half, and his pants come clear down to his ankles. If he can't roll out those pot bellies by himself, then we're really in trouble. We'll see you back at the ranch. No, no, no. You're going to leave me out on that trail with no one to argue with but myself, and you know it. Stick around. Well, what for? This is for. Come on, now, a little Dace. Dace. Come on, 200 more. Let's go. Oh, 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 look at all that money. Trail expenses. You move them out. We'll catch up to you later, eh? Yeah, I'll see you in a couple of days. Oh, uh, days. My uh, San Francisco tobacconist makes these up especially for me. That way. And don't feel that way. Let's... Let's go the power of a woman. Uh-huh. Well, I still think we should have banged him over here during supper. Son, a chicken would make you one meal. Or it could lay enough eggs for a thousand breakfasts. A sheep, it would be two weeks of mutton. Or you could wear warm shirts for the rest of your life. And a cow, oh, and it'd be about five weeks of meat. Or you could have milk and heifers from now on. Now, what would you want? Uh, would you like chicken, meat, and mutton just for a short time? Or would you rather have eggs and clothes and milk and meat from now to eternity? I don't understand all that. I should have sent you to school along with your sister. Well, don't you worry. Your pa will take care of you. Well, they're coming back. Been gone just about the right amount of time. Bell? Bell? How did it go? It was just wonderful, Pa. You still got that money on him? Bart. Well, Daddy, she's got a funny look to her I ain't never seen for. Well, it ain't the kind of look you ever like to understand. Well, would you mind waiting outside? I... I want to take a bath. Well, don't throw the water out when you're finished. Bart's going to use it. Daddy, do I have to? I'd appreciate it. It looks like it's working out. When a bell marries him, who's going to do for us? Oh, we can hire anybody we want. Uh-huh. She'll move in that big house and grow uppity ways and have us fetching and toting. Oh, no. We got a saddle on your sister, boy. Not if she marries money, we don't. Wouldn't the Barclays be flat out shocked to learn they got an in-law who's done the things that Bell's done? We're gonna be rich, Daddy. Like having a tunnel to the bank, son. Like having a tunnel to the bank. Mm -hmm. 